So for today, we're going to be looking at the Hunter Assassin's Creed armor pieces. Basically, what we're going to be doing is going through each of the Assassin's Creed armor pieces, not reviewing because we already reviewed the armor. It's right here. If you guys want to check it out, this is more so using the individual pieces of the Assassin's Creed armor into their own separate example sets. So that so that way you guys can see what you guys can do with them. Personally, I only like two of these just because I will be actually that's a lie because there's some that here there's some here that actually look really like really good. So I'll let you guys know which one I'm like okay and not okay with when we look at the actual armor sets. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really enjoy making these just because not only do they help me push myself out of my comfort zone, but I also just surprise myself for just some of the shit that I make. Like legitimately some of the some of the sets in this video I was like, yo, I was on something because that shit looked fire. So again, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. I really do. And let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet first. If you guys don't know, we usually start from the helmet and work our way down to the class item. So the helmet, arms, uh, chest piece, boots, and then class item. That's how we usually do it. And to start off, the helmet is not my favorite. That being said, I did take a lot of the original pieces out because I was using too much of those pieces in other pieces in other sets. So you will you guys will notice some uh, similarities, specifically like using the same ex same exotic in two sets and using, I think, the same boots in another set as well. Uh, it was a lot worse. I will show you guys the before and after, and this is the, the after I think it looks cool for this one. I was going for more of a, like, I don't want, I don't want to say techno, but like, like a techno, like actually techno, a Spartan look, I guess you would say, uh, there is another boot that I think looks way better with it, which is this one right here. It's the, um, what's it called? It's the, uh. The arc inspired armor set. I think that looks a lot cooler. It's just that the other set that I made for it looks so much better that I was just like, I have to use it for this one, which is why I went with the Pathfinders light guards. Speaking of which, the chest piece is the hardened basilisk vest. I love this chest piece. I think it looks super cool, especially if you want to go for like a very chill look. And then the cloak, we're using the phenotype plasticity cloak um, because this helmet doesn't take uh, hoods off, unfortunately. So. I wanted to use something that doesn't have a hood so that way I can show the whole helmet off. But man, if, 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 if I swear to God, dude, if it took the hood off, this would have been a banger of a helmet. But for the shader, we're using Sato tribe specifically because the Aeons, um, have a blue glow to them. Now this is the problematic part because I don't think the blue one is the one that's viable the, as in the one that people use. I think it's the red or the green one. I, f I don't remember off the top of my head, but you guys will see Aeons again. Uh, not in the next one because the next one is the arms, obviously. But speaking of the arms, let's just get into it. So for the arms, I just decided to go all in like, fuck it, like throw caution to the wind. And I, 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 I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think, because this set looks fucking weird. I will show you the before and after. Obviously, this one is the after the before I think looks really cool as well. The only unfortunate part is that I was using Gwyn's Invest. And if my memory is correct, I'm already using Gwyn's Invest on a set right now. So that's why I decided to switch the arms out, because if I'm being honest, the arms are not my favorite piece. I think they're the worst piece from the whole set uh, for the helmet. We're using the Iron Forerunner mask. I love this mask. It's one of my favorite fucking helmets in the game, like legitimately. I think I'm using it on both sets of this one. So just to showcase, I fucking love this helmet. It's so cool uh, for the arms, obviously the Assassin's Creed arms. For the chest piece, the Praetorian ornament looks super cool with this with combination of the uh, exotic that I forget its name, uh, the bombardiers. There we go. And then for the Imperium cartographer cloak, uh, just looks cool. So let me explain my thought process here because there's a lot happening. I decided, you know what? I think these arms look really fucking boring and basic. So I'm going to go full in with being extra as fuck, which is why I'm using so many pieces. And now if I'm being quite honest, there is another set that I made. It's just I just switched the helmet out with the uh the iron banner helmet the, from the first season of vanilla iron banner 
And I think that looks really cool as well. I probably prefer that one more just because it looks a lot better than the Iron Foreigner mask because Iron Foreigner mask kind of looked boring with this. But I still wanted to showcase this one because I love the Iron Foreigner mask. But if I'm being honest, the other set just looked a lot little, a little better just because it looks more extra. And that was kind of like my whole theme around this. Just make it as extra as possible, which is why we're using the Imperium Cartographer because it has horns and it has a bunch of shit in the back. The Praetorian ornament just there's so much there's so much happening design wise there's a knife there's rope there's designs there's this fucking like a sash on the chest piece there's so much happening and the bombardiers i think are the most extra piece from this just because you have fucking bongos on one side you have drumsticks on one side of the leg there's so much happening that was just like fuck it i'm gonna go in with just being extra as fuck and um i'll be real with you I don't know which one I prefer. I probably prefer the Gwyn's Invest version of this just because it looks a little bit better and it almost looks like uh, like you're a representative of, of like that country. To me, at least you like you look like, yeah, you kind of look. Yeah, you kind of look like a, like an ambassador or some shit. That's a, that's the first thought I thought of when I first saw the Gwyn's Invest look. But let me know what you guys think. Definitely not a bad one. I just I think the arms are just terrible. Personally, as for the chest piece, I think this is such a banger of a look oh my god the only unfortunate part is i think the best choice for this would have just been out to switch out the red shader for a blue shader just because the dynamo current strides uh have lightning going through it and it has a blue glow i think the best choice would have just been with a blue glow uh or just go with uh sato tribe honestly i think sato tribe would have just been better choice for this but for the helmet, Omnioculus mask uh, was an easy choice, like actually an easy choice because I wanted no, no cloak. I wanted nothing there. I just wanted like a person with no cloak, no nothing. And I think I, achie I achieved that really well. Uh, get used to Omnioculus. You're going to see it in the next set. I'm just going to tell you right now. For the arms, Aeons, obviously, with the red glow. For the chest piece, obviously, Assassin's Creed. And then Dynamo Current Strides, I already talked about. Here's why I love these these fucking boots though when you look at them at the back you you see this skirt and i think that looks so fucking cool i'm be real with you guys the whole the whole reason this set became a thing was because the dynamo current strides the the like skirt at the back i was like this looks fucking cool i'm gonna wear this and i, I i'm wearing it for the cloak we're using the legatus cloak because the legatus cloak is the best cloak you can use if you don't want to have a cloak so Obviously, you got to combine the Legatus cloak with a helmet that takes off the cloak. So, yeah, I think this is a banger of a look. If I'm being quite honest, though, uh, you can switch out the Dynamo Current Strides with uh, the first set. And it's going to look a lot better because the current the uh, the Dynamo sets have a very like uh, what's it called? It has a, a good Spartan look because Spartans used to only just wear greaves at the bottom and nothing else. So it will look thematic to a Spartan look. But again, this was just because I didn't want to use the same boots and the same helmet. There's so many things that I was reusing in these sets that I didn't want to go overboard with it. But if I'm being quite honest, if I did, if I, if I did want to use the boots or the the uh, the Assassin's Creed helmet, then I would go with the Dynamo current boot or current strides with the first set just because it looks really good together as for the boots i'm be real with you guys i don't know where my head was going with this one i was just like i'm just gonna make this and i'm gonna see if it looks cool and i think this came out pretty cool this one is also one that just kind of made me think like i look like i'm like an ambassador like of korea or like greece or some shit. i don't know it just looks cool um very very like rule of cool because none of this makes sense so for the helmet, Omnioculus mask and the cloak is Legatus cloak again, because specifically with the ornament of Eerie Breeze for uh, Gwyn's Invest, you have this really cool, like not kimono, but like uh, I forgot, like Koreans have a name for it, obviously. I just don't know what it's called, but it looks super cool. The collar looks super cool is what I'm trying to say. So I want to retain that and I didn't want to have anything there. So that's why I'm using the Legatus cloak again uh, for the boots. Again, we're going to use we're going to be using the Assassin's Creed boots, but for the arms, Iron Foreigner grips was I'm gonna be real with you. It was an easy choice because 
I didn't want to have armor on the left side of the arm because I didn't want it to be too heavy on the one side. Even though I've done that before, I didn't want to do it with this set just because the boots are already like just garbage that I didn't want to like even weigh down even more. So that's why we're using the 400 grips. Overall, I think this set looks fucking cool. I think Regal Darien looks amazing with it. Uh, that being said, again, just the boots just look fucking terrible. Like the waist down, I look like a hobo, but like the waist up, I look like fucking like like Regal is fuck, bro. So yeah, I definitely like this one a lot as well. But and this one, actually, I didn't change anything. Like, this is how it came out. And I was like, this is the look I'm going for. I think the only thing I switched out was the arms because I was, I was using different arms. But I decided to use this one just because it looks a lot better. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, this is oh, my God, guys, this is like my crowning achievement. This is like the piece of like, resistance, whatever. It looks fucking cool. I love the look. Uh, the shaders ultra plasmic. Let's look into that first. I love the fact that ultra plasmic has damn near the same color as the Oath Keepers gems on the forearms. And I just it looks fucking cool. For the helmet, Shadows Mask uh, was my second choice actually because I was using the uh, I was using the Iron Forerunner mask, which is just the 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 like uh, the cloth face that was I was using that before, but I, my friends were like, it, it doesn't look good with that one. Even though for me, it thematically it made sense because I'm going for like an assassin look, and I thought it made sense, but I, apparently it didn't. So that's why I switched to the Shadow Mask, and it, it became even more menacing, thankfully. So. Shadow Mask, really good choice for this. Iron Companion Vest was specifically used because this is fr from the Iron Companion Hunter video, which if you guys haven't seen, it's right here. It's basically what we're doing now, but for the Iron Banner set. And I, I also think a lot of those sets that I made are bangers, so you should definitely check it out. And again, I've done it for multiple classes, so it's not just Hunter, Titan, Warlock. They're right here as well. Check it out if you guys want to see it. But I, I really, really like a lot of the set that I've made. Uh, the Dendrite Shimmer Strides, I think, look super cool with this because the texture on the thighs, specifically the inner thighs, look really good with the stomach texture of the Iron Companion Vest. And then the Mystios Cloak, obviously Assassin's Creed, because I love, and I mean this, I love how the cloak drapes down on the Iron Banner mark or the, the medallion, not medallion, the insignia, I guess you would say, on the chest piece. I think all these pieces go so well together that it it legitimately kills my soul how good this is because now I kind of hate myself because I want to, I want to like, uh, change my, my, uh, my YouTube thing, my picture to this because it looks so, so cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that I was reusing a lot of pieces from other sets, but to be fair, uh, I'm surprised I made armor sets for all of these considering some of these I fucking hate with a passion, specifically the boots. I fucking hate the boots, the arms. I fucking hate the arms. And uh, that's pretty much it, actually. Like, I think the, the helmet and the cloak are super cool. The chest piece kind of actually grew on me real fast because when I made that one set, I was like, this looks fucking cool. Uh, okay, okay. I was so surprised by that look. And yeah, I think the just the pieces that just make you look like a hobo are the, are the boots and the arms. Uh, more boots than arm. No, arms make you look like a hobo, too. Uh, Titans, you guys have one coming up shortly we are that one i am also reusing a lot of pieces from the iron companion set but to be fair um the assassin's creed armor for the titan is fucking awesome so you can't really give me shit for that so yeah let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later